Tasker has a new action called Simple Match Regex. This new action allows you to match some text and easily extract info from it. For example, let's say I have this text. My name is Amy and I'm 65 years old. My name is Tim and I'm 6 years old. So to start off, you can simply check if some text is present here. So let's check if this is present. And since, since it isn't, it'll give out uh, an error. But if you write name, because it is present here, now it doesn't show an error and you know that it matches. So this is a way to simply check if something exists in the text. But uh, more than that, you can extract info from the text. For example, let's copy this, this part of the text. Use the helper here. And when I use the helper, it, it tells me that I can long click part, part of the text and then create a variable from it. So if I long click, for example, this part, create variable, and name this name, you'll see that this part is replaced with dollar sign name, and then I can also create variable from the years, from the, um, the number here, and call it age. And now this part is replaced by uh, hashtag age, which means that it's a number. So this will tr this will match any characters, and this will match any numbers. And now, if I test this and show the age or name, age and name, I can see that it matches age 65, Amy the name. So it matches the first match. But, but as you can see, it says that it, it can also be accessed as an array. So if I simply do this and this, I can see that 65, 6 and Amy, Tim. Tim. So it gets all of the matches from the text. And now very easily I could get the names and and ages of all the people in this list. But sometimes the text is not as easy to match, so if the simple type matching doesn't work for you, you can always use regex. If you're not that familiar with regex, you can even use a helper here to help you figure out what to write. So let's start with my name is space, and then use the helper to build your regex. So let's build a named group, which will also create a variable and call it name. And this name group will contain any word character and one or more times because the name has one or more characters. Don't add anything else, just keep this. And this group will never will not repeat, so none. So now I have my regex, my name is name and then inside it any word character repeat one or more times and now if I use this oh. all right regex is user is is case sensitive so by default you can disable it but by default it is so let's do this and it shows Amy Tim and now I can write the, the rest of the text and I'm and now let's use another group called age and in that I'll use digits one or more don't add anything else don't repeat so if I now do this both ages and both names appear of course it wouldn't make sense to use a regex in this example because you could use the simple matching but just to show you how it works and now this is very uh, this is very nice to, for example, use with the arrays uh, merge feature where you can merge the name and the age array 
arrays with the joiner, for example, is, and then show the result in a list dialog, for example, with the title people and the items. Oh, um, <laughs> I had to. Sorry, I have to create the variable people from the other action, but I'll use it here right away. And in the arrays merge, the output is called people. So now I merge the arrays here and show them in a list. And there you go. Amy is 65 and Tim is 6. So with these simple actions, I could get the names and ages from the, all the people in this list and merge them and show them in a nice looking list. This is the new simple match regex action. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!